where you go no matter what you do don't forget who you are don't forget who you are in Christ it's very very much important that we must always remember who we have become in Christ that's what the Bible is saying that Jesus is saying that whoever will acknowledge me before others I will also acknowledge before my father in heaven whoever who's going to represent me whoever who's not going to be ashamed of me before others Jesus Christ is saying that also he's not going to be ashamed of that person when he goes before his father in heaven Jesus Christ will be also be proud of somebody who will be proud of him hallelujah then it's very very much important never to hide our identity it's very very much important to stand for Christ all the time as we do so also the lord will stand for us all the time hallelujah amen actually when we are talking about this verse other scriptures say that whoever will talk about me before men jesus christ said that i will talk about that person also before angels if you want jesus christ to talk about you in heaven we must talk about him here on earth hallelujah amen we must represent him here about him here on earth as we are representing him here on earth he is representing us in heaven that's actually one of the duty why jesus christ is in heaven the lord jesus christ is in heaven representing us who belong to him representing us who are living who are standing for him here on earth hallelujah amen then whenever opportunity arises to stand to live to talk about Jesus Christ let us do uh, do it wholeheartedly knowing that Jesus Christ is not an ordinary person you know you can talk about let's say for example Donald Trump you can talk about anybody whom you know who is very famous in a nowadays and that person never know that you are talking about him but it is Im- impossible to talk about Jesus it is impossible to talk about Jesus that he does not know that you are talking about him the moment you talk about him he knows that you are talking about him hallelujah amen that's how supernatural he is that's how extraordinary he is that whenever we talk about him here on earth he talks about us in heaven hallelujah Amen. Then the moment we talk about him we are not talking about him he is not also talking about us in vain he is talking about us that God may bless us that God may protect us that heaven may act on our behalf in order to bless us then not that for heaven to talk about you it's a blessing are you hearing what i'm saying amen imagine if somebody can be proud and say ah pre- the president is talking about me the president the president of the company of the i can say the president of what of the country is talking about you is talking about you and that person is very proud and that person is very happy and say oh the president is talking about me meaning that or the boss is talking about me if somebody is working and say expecting good thing from the government good thing from uh, from that company imagine if jesus christ is talking about you the one who is bigger than any president 
the one who's bigger than anyone. The Alpha, the Omega, the Lords of Lords, the King of Kings, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Imagine if he's talking about you. Wow. If people have this revelation. You know, people want people to talk about them. I mean, ordinary people. Like I'm talking about a manager. I'm talking about a, a certain president of a certain company. These are ordinary people. No matter what position they hold. But I'm talking about God here. Jesus is not an ordinary person. Jesus Christ is God. Imagine him talking about you in heaven. Every time talking about you. Wow automatically you are blessed hallelujah Amen. that's why now it's very very much important to do those things that will make jesus christ to talk about you not not just anywhere in this world in the highest office the highest office i'm talking about is called heaven because that's where god lives that's where god dwells Imagine, then do those things like talking about God. Don't make sure that the day doesn't go by without you talking about Jesus. Talking about the Lord. Talking about the King of Kings. Actually, it must move from talking to acting. Doing the things that Jesus Christ loves. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord will be representing you, talking about us, not just anywhere, but in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying to you, if there is anywhere, you must look for favor. We must look for favor from above. We must look for favor in heaven. We must look for the favor from the Lord, the King of glory, the wonder-waking God, when we talk about I talk about him. That's why you are hearing here, Jesus said, whoever will just acknowledge. You know, the other vision says that whoever will talk ab about me, I also will talk about him before my Father in heaven. Then as a Christian, one of the biggest topics of the day must be Jesus Christ. That's what you must refuse for the day to go by without talking about that sweet and wonderful name. The wonderful name, the anointed name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Help me to talk about Jesus Christ every day. Help me to talk about Jesus Christ every day. Help me to represent Jesus Christ every day. Help me to represent Jesus Christ every day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to just open for you, for us tonight, also this verse from the book of Philippians, chapter 2. The verse number 9. The Bible said that, therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. God has exalted him to the highest place and gave Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Wow. Listen to this one. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. In heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Bible tells us that God has exalted that name. God have got, have anointed that name. There is a name that is above every other name. The name that is powerful any other name. The name that is powerful any than any other problem, any other demon, any other witch. 
the name that is powerful than the devil himself because that name has been glorified. That name has been anointed. That name has been given power. That when you're talking about it, it's not like when you are talking about the any other name of any celebrity. That name, when you are talking about it. Let's say there was a demon about to attack you. When that demon finds you talking about the name of Jesus Christ. That demon <clears throat> ran away and said, hey, I wa this was the demon on assignment. Which was sent to come and tempt you which was sent to come and cause problem in your life. And when it finds you talking about the name of Jesus, that demon ran away and go and reports back and says, hey, I found him talking about that name. I found him talking about that one, that shining one. You know, many of the times, sometimes when I was doing deliverance, some of the times it was when the witches were arrested. Some of the times where different kinds of spirits were arrested. But when those spirits, when those demons heard, when I say the name of Jesus, they begin to tremble, they, they begin to bow down. They begin to fall down because there is power in the name of Jesus. Then that's why as the children of the living God, one of the names that we must enjoy talking about is the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That wonderful, that powerful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why our everything, our day must be seasoned. Our conversations must be seasoned in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that is not an ordinary name. That is anointed name. That's why Jesus Christ said, whoever will talk about me. Whoever will talk about my name. Oh, whoever will talk about my name. Some of the people, they are wondering what they are going through. Certain problems, certain challenges in their life. Sometimes it's because they don't talk about the name of Jesus. The moment they talk, the moment we talk about the name of Jesus Christ, your problems will bow, your sickness will bow, your challenge will bow, because that name has got power. Hallelujah! That name has got power. That name is anointed then we must attach our day, we must attach our everything to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. To the name of Jesus Christ. Then you will see every problem bowing. You will see every challenge bowing. I remember one day, on this day, you know, I was in the clinic. When I was in this clinic, it was on Sunday that day. Just before I go to church, I was preaching at the, at the clinic. When I was preaching, there were few people, you know, on Sundays at the clinics, there are few people. During the week, we managed to preach about 100 people, many, many people. We are, during the week, we are about to, we are, we are winning every day for Christ. Then on this day, there were few people. One of the lady there, she was having a problem. She said that one of her ear could not hear for about four years. I remember when we did prayer, it was after prayer, and I was like, Mama, close the ear that could hear. I want to test the ear that could not hear. She said, Pastor, the moment you said you were praying and said in the name of Jesus, hey, a deaf ear opened. So, Pastor, I can hear you clearly. I don't even need to close it. I can hear you clearly. The moment you call that name, miracle begin to happen in my body. Miracle begin to happen in my life. I remember this other day also. You know, on this other day, 
I was called. You know, it was when I woke up. When I wake up in the middle of the night for prayer, when I check my phone, I saw there was about 10 missed calls. There was about 10 missed calls. You know, when I was like, oh no, this case is serious. Let me call back. When I called back, they told me that, Pastor, we were calling you about the certain young man. This young man, uh, he was having a problem. He just began to say headache, headache, and he fell down. He could not do anything. And he was carried to the hospital. I said, ah, no, don't worry. We, we can call the name of Jesus Christ. Don't worry. Tell that, give that phone, that person, that phone. I want to pray for that person. Then they did, what they did, they gave that person was at the hospital the, that phone number. And that man already was admitted. Then, the moment I talked to that person, he was like, he cannot do anything. And he was feeling, he was feeling hot all over the body. He could not do anything. I said, don't worry. When we call the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Every demon will bow. Every curse will be broken. Ah! Then when I begin to pray, he begin to feel cold. The power of the Holy Spirit manifested by coldness. After prayer, the headache was gone. After prayer, the whole coldness has disappeared. Hotness has disappeared. Because there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. That when we call in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Because that name has its anointed. That is not an ordinary name. Even in the kingdom of darkness, in the kingdom of the devil, they don't mention that name. They don't mention that name. Many of the times, like what I was saying, that when I was doing deliverance, if that demon, that which make a mistake, say that and call that name, they will be like, hey, we are burning, we are burning. They don't want to continue with that name because that name has got power. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. I'm saying this thing that as a child of the living God, you must enjoy calling the name of Jesus. You must enjoy talking the name of Jesus. Whether you are aware of it or not, when you say that name, things begin to happen in the spiritual realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Things begin to happen in the spiritual realm by just calling that wonderful, that powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I remember one day I was preaching also at the clinic. And I was telling them that let's say one day you are in the taxi. When you are in the taxi, accident is about to happen. Let's say accident is about to okay. Let's say you are about to experience an accident when there's something like that is happening. Do not call any other names. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the demon, the devil is not scared of any other names. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The demons, the devil is scared of what? Of the powerful name of Jesus Christ. You can call, hey, Michael Jackson, nothing is going to happen. You can call, oh, Donald Trump, nothing is going to happen. You're going to call the, the name of your president. The name of their favorite celebrity. Maybe that name it is going to fuel the anger of the demon. But when you call the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Because the name of Jesus is a powerful name. It's a glorious name. As you are a Christian, you must stand on that name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Stand on that name. Pray on that name. Don't pray in other names. But pray how? 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. It's just that some of the people, they've called that name. Maybe they were not born again. And miracle did not happen. And things do not happen because they don't know, they, they don't have the relationship with the owner of the name. First of all, before you call that name, you must have the relationship. You must know the owner of the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As the Bible says that one day there was this other seven sons of Sceva. These seven sons of Sceva, uh, they found this other man who was demon possessed. When they found this man who was demon possessed, then they were like to that man, Hey, in the name of Jesus, who Paul talks about, you demon come out. Hey, these people were not born again. These people, they did not know the Lord Jesus. They were just imitating Paul without the real knowing the owner of the name. Because of that, the Bible said that that demon was angry. And that demon began to beat them up. He beat them. One person who was demon possessed began to beat them up. The Bible said that that man who was demon possessed beat all those seven sons of Sceva until they ran away naked. They ran away, all of them naked. What was the mistake that they were doing? They were calling the name of Jesus when they don't know the owner of the name. That means before you call the name of Jesus, you must know the owner of the name of Jesus Christ. You must have the relationship with the owner of the name of what? Of Jesus Christ. And, and when you are calling it, don't call it when you are doubting. Are you what I'm saying? Amen. You call that name in faith. Amen. You call that name in expectation. Because some of the people, why the prayer is not answered is because they don't pray in faith. They pray in doubt. Sometimes they pray taking chances. No, we don't have to pray taking chances. You have to pray in faith. Are you hear what I'm saying? You have to pray in faith. Then some of the times, as a servant of God, we are forced to pray certain prayers. When you are forced to, you know, like, and I know that I'm just calling this prayer. It, that's a problem. But when you're calling that name, that praying that prayer in faith, I know whatever I'm praying about is going to be answered. Are you what I'm saying? Amen. I'm quite sure. Ah, I'm quite sure. And every time when I call that name of Jesus in faith, God always performs miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Then as a child of the living God, stand in the name of Jesus. Stand on that name. That is not an ordinary name. It's a powerful name. That the Bible says that every tongue that acknowledges that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the God, God the Father. Every tongue. And the Bible says every, that at the name of every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Amen. If heaven have said that, nobody can say no. That's why we say that. If Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Are you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Because Jesus Christ has been given authority. He has been given power. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. I'm saying to you tonight, it doesn't matter what is your problem. It doesn't matter what is your challenge. I command that problem to bow in Jesus' name. Amen. I command that problem to bow in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I command that demon to bow in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, I want you to I want to give you this one or a few minutes for you to pray and command everything in the name of Jesus. I want you to tell whatever you want it to bow in your life. Begin to tell it in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray wherever you are. Mandara brozondanda rabazonda rabayande. You stubborn demon behind our lives, our careers, our finances, our anything. I command you to bow in the name of Jesus. As a bow in the name of Jesus. Mandara bazunda rabayando robo zundo robo yande. Mayando robo sianda rabaye dere dere bo yande. Kiyendo robo zundo robo yanda rabayande. My Father, my God. I call the name of Jesus for every situation. Every stubborn situation, every stubborn problem, I call upon the name of Jesus. She in the rebo zundo robo yanda rabai yando robo yande. I say, call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus for that problem, for that demon which you have been suffering from and the lord is answering prayers mayondo robo sundara bayande rebo yande kiandara basoto robo yandara baya rakusha katala bayende rere yande i call the name of jesus I call the name of Jesus for that stagnation. I call the name of Jesus for that demon. I speak the name of Jesus. I say you bow. Your problem you bow. Your challenges you bow. Jobs you bow. Kundurubu yende rebo siundurubu yende riando. Mayanda raba yende riando rebo sianda raba yende riando rebo sianda raba yande. Lata raba zunda raba zunda raba yande. Koya taraba yanda raba yande. Manda raba zundurubu yande. Mandara basundo rubo yandara bayande Mandara basunda rabayande Wherever you are I want you to call the name Jesus seven times Say Jesus 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 Jesus, Jesus. Mando rubo sianda ndara bayende. Se holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost. Fire, 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 fire. Say anything which is not of God. In my body. In my family. In my ministry. In my country. In my anything. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. fire. I command them. Come on. Come on. Ah. 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 Wherever 
where you are, receive every blessing you want. Receive every blessing you are. Hallelujah. Where I am, anointing is so strong. The power of the Holy Spirit is so strong. Amen. God told me to have a, to hold a service on the 1st of February. This is a powerful service. I've never held the kind of service in a while. Last time I did this service, many people got jobs. Many people, they were healed. This kind of a service. God told me that I must go and do it. I must begin to do those kind of a service this year, 2020. Hallelujah. Over the weekend, I went to my home. When I went to my home, I was praying with my family. The heaven, I could feel the heaven came down. The atmosphere changed. I was like, this was too, is too much for my family. My family, it was, it was more than what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then God told me to go and perform miracles. On this day... On the 1st of February in Musina. Then I'm inviting everyone. And just because this is going to be a glorious night. Where God is going to perform miracles like they've never been, been seen. I'm also, that day my family will be there. My family must be there because they, they must be blessed. Then I'm saying, just to show that in, in most of the important things, I start with my family because these are important things. But apart from that, I'm inviting the whole world to come and partake. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you this. Um, before I wrap up tonight when I'm talking to you, 